Wait. Oh, 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 and look, I don't think you have a thing to be worried about this year. I think we're going to make it all the way to the pumpkin pie without so much as a single rest. Uh, I want to thank you for being so brilliant. Oh, my. Well, as I recall, it was your idea to rent the entire dining room for the day. Yeah, but you were the one who was brilliant enough to go along with it, and you are the one who was brilliant enough to make it happen. Huh. Huh. Thank you again. <laughs> but let me tell you something, sweetheart. I would have bought this entire hotel to ensure a nice, calm dinner. Today's Thanksgiving dinner is going to be the kind of classic American holiday that would make even Norman Rockwell weep. Hmm. Shall we? All right. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Thanks very much. This is a family Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, okay. Okay, that explains Derek and Lydia. It's one day. Reggie's girlfriend has a right to bring her dad and her aunt. Okay, but I can't invite a friend. He's an assassin. I will kill him. Now, is that in the spirit of the day? I'm sorry I couldn't get more of Danny in the shot of Reggie on top. He's gonna kill me. Ignore him. Ignore him. The man carries a 45. How do I ignore him? We didn't do anything. You don't ask Ramsey to leave. I'll pitch him out myself. No, wait, wait. Oh, call him off, please. I'm gonna go get Danny and I'm gonna take her home. It's just like no. This is not the day my mother had in mind. Oh, yeah? Whose fault is that? It's what? one evening you can survive. But can you? That's the question. Please, I got nothing to worry Stay about. Stay away from us. Can we just put our differences aside for one single day? I wanted a quiet dinner at home. Just us. Well, now I wish I agreed. You're being childish. Look, I am going to grab Danny and we're going to eat someplace else. Thanksgiving Day. No reservations. What do you have in mind? A drive through it's wonderful that we can all come together here today, isn't it? And to get the celebration off on the right note, Jack and I have requested that the honorary matriarch of our clan say a few words. Myrtle. Me? Oh. Uh. Well, just a minute. Uh, well, uh, every one of us here in this room tonight, uh, th though we might not know it, we are blessed. Uh, I, I, know we've, I know we've got our troubles and our problems and, and, and all, all the fussy things, but we've got clothes and we, we've got food and we've got homes. And, and we've got family and friends who help us through the tough times. And, well, not many people in our country can say the same, or throughout the world, for that matter. So we just count our blessings today and every day of the year, but we have to remember the other folks and, 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 and Try to figure out if there's some way we can ease their burdens or, well, maybe help to build a house or, or, or teach a, a, a child to read or, 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 or just stop whining and moaning. That's what I really want to say, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, let, let's, give, let's give something to this world that has given so much to us. Mm. Very good. That was so good, Myrtle. Thank you. Thank you, Myrtle. Thank oh, you so much. Wait, wait a minute. I forgot. I forgot something. Uh, listen, uh, one, one more thing. If anyone doesn't rein in today while we're here, you're going to have to answer to me, and I can be real nasty. <laughs> <coughs> thank you. Man. Myrtle, thank you very much. <laughs> Hope it sticks. Yes, amen. Sire? Oh, no, 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 no. I think I'd like a nice dry martini. Where's that cute waiter? Did you talk to Greenlee? Yes, yes, I did, and she listened, and she assures me that she will be cool, calm, and collected today, no matter what may hit the fan. Kendall only brought Ethan here to ruin this for us. Well, then don't give her the satisfaction of getting upset. He's a murderer. A trigger man. Nobody died, and nobody's actually proven that he is the guy that pulled the trigger. They will. Just try and get it out of your head for one night, okay, please? This is Kendall's game, so just don't play it. Have you noticed any change from the meds? Well, if Kendall hadn't thrown Ethan in all of our faces, I'd be as sweet as pumpkin pie. So you feel better? There's a light at the end of the tunnel. It's not mounted on a train. That's a joke. You can smile. Hey, 
let's make nice for your dad and, you know, for everybody, and let's slip out for a private dinner of strip steak. Is that a new game? <laughs> no, actually, that's what's in the fridge, but I'm all for creative Thanksgiving celebration. Mm, deal. Okay. Can we keep my, uh, better living through chemistry on the QT? It's nobody's business but ours. So I understand that you and Kendall are spending a lot of time together. Yeah, uh, when I'm not behind bars. And what would be the nature of this relationship? Mr. Montgomery's your mouthpiece this evening. Jack doesn't want to see Kendall make another mistake. No offense. You're afraid that I might be some kind of threat to Kendall? Aren't you? First, you're a cambius, then it's proved you're not a cambius, and I must be honest with you, the people of Pennsylvania are not so sure that you didn't try to kill Ryan. You can see why we don't view you as primo relationship material. Candler's lucky to have two people who are so concerned for her safety, but do not let me distract you from the real threat here. And what would that be? This upstanding lady. Bickering and jealousy don't constitute a major threat. Well, how about hit and run? Well, nobody told you? Mrs. Lavery tried to kill your daughter by running her over, didn't you? Greenlee, did you try to run down Kendall with your car? You are going to make accusations? How, d how did you even manage to keep it quiet? Uh, ex excuse me, I still have vital areas stapled together because of a bullet I took, a bullet that you might have fired. Greenlee is not responsible for what happened. Hey, what's going on, Kendall? Did Greenlee try to run you down with your car? My aim was way off, so it's the biggie. No harm, no foul, right? Look at her. And you, you. You admit that you actually tried no, no, to No, 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 she's not admitting this to anything. This party is getting worse by the minute. Every time I try, and you know I try, to forgive you for the horrible things you've done, you do something even more horrible. I don't need horrible. your forgiveness. Save it for someone who gives a hoot in Hades what okay, you okay. think. OK, you know what? Excuse me. We're, we're going to go. Wait, do you think I care whether you like me or not? You and your daughter. Well, not Bianca. She's OK. But you and Kendall are a big waste of air and skin and space. No. You're the one who's full of hot air, and I don't take up much space. But just cut the reenactment of Custer's last stand. Now, this is Thanksgiving. Sit down, play nice, or get out. That wasn't as bad as you said it was going to be. Well, it's not a pleasant job, but someone has to do it. Paul. God, where's my... Where's my cell phone? Bianca, where are you going? I lost my cell phone. Those stakes are calling my name. The ladies' room is calling mine. OK, hurry back. Hmm? Quick as a butterfly. Um, guys, I think dinner will go more smoothly without us. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Kendall, we don't want um, you to go. Well, we'll enjoy a nice, quiet dinner alone. Uh, Kendall, are, are you afraid that Greenlee might try something? No, Mother, please just forget or, about that, or that please. Ethan? No, it, it's just us being here is way too awkward. Well, I'm going to call you tomorrow because I want to know exactly what happened. Good night. Good night. OK, well, shall we? Well, I can't sit at the same table with Greenlee. Oh, please, please, for the sake of a Norman Rockwell Thanksgiving. He didn't have to paint murderers sharing turkey. Wait, 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 wait. Kendall said she would fill you in about this tomorrow. I, I, I can't wait that long. I... Ryan. Ryan. I have been patient with Greenlee. I have put myself out on numerous occasions, but 
this. C can we just table this just, just for tonight? Ryan, my daughter had to leave because she's so terrified of Greenlee. Kendall has got nothing to be afraid of. No, I, are you saying that Greenlee didn't try to kill her? I'm saying that it was an accident and there's no reason to blow this whole thing out of proportion. Well, I, I want to hear that from Greenlee. No, not now. Where is she? Where is she hiding? She's not hiding anywhere. It's not fair to blame Greenlee. Well, what do you know about it? You know what? I'm handling this, Jonathan. Well, it's not like Greenlee could help it. I mean, she had that breakdown and snapped. I mean, she has psychiatric problems. 